I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the Phil and Ted's Traveler. The Traveler is considered a travel cot for all those parents that want to travel with their kids and bring a bed along with them, but they don't want to lug around a big heavy pack and play at 22 pounds. This is a great option. It weighs in at a fabulous five and a half pounds without the mattress, about six pounds with the mattress, which is actually lighter than your baby, which is really great. So it is, as you can see, it looks similar to a play yard, but it is completely enclosed. So it enclosed your child because this top part is a mesh net. But if your child doesn't like to be completely enclosed, all you have to do is remove the netting. So this makes it great because it's enclosed. It makes it great for going outside to the park, to the beach. So it makes it great for inside as well as out. For when you're outside, what's great is, okay, this mesh netting, it's not UV protected, but what you can get, there's an accessory sold separately called the Slim Shady, which is kind of a fun name. Phil and Ted has a lot of fun names with their things. It, is, it blocks 81% of UV rays, so this is great for if you're outside to keep your baby from the harmful rays of the sun. Also, it's great it's because there's mesh on each side. It's going to keep your baby cool, but it's also going to keep away the bugs away from your child as well. There's two ways to access your baby. You can drop them into the bottom like you would a normal play yard, or the front of it zips open so that you can get your baby this way. Or if you have a toddler that likes to climb in the bed on their own, this is a great way to do that. Now, the, this is in black, so the inside of the toddler is going to be a little darker than your standard pl player, which might mean they might sleep a little longer in the morning, which is okay by us. But some toddlers might be a little scared because it is so dark inside. What we found is if you do a strategically placed nightlight next to one of these mesh windows, or open up the side or open up the side or the top, that's really going to help. But all of our testers had no problem climbing in the traveler and going to sleep. Our babies, you know, and our toddlers kind of pretty much slept like babies. Now the traveler is for newborn all the way up to three years old. So what we did is we put our three-year-old tester in it to see how much room he has. And as you can see, at 38 inches, he has room to spare. So he fits comfortably. So this is a great option for those older, older toddlers that still need a little bit of a confined bed when they're traveling. The only thing we're going to say is that watch out with your little bit rambunctious older toddlers. If they're in there and they're standing up, you want to keep an eye on them because they might be able to tip it over. It is lightweight. So if they get all their weight to one side, they might tip it over. So just keep an eye on them. Oh, the rest, our, our younger toddlers and our babies had no problem whatsoever. So that's just a little thing that you want to keep in mind. Now, let's show you how it closes up. What's also great about the Traveler is that if you're going to use it outside and it's an especially windy day, because it is lightweight, it comes with stakes that allow you to stake down the feet into the ground so it's not going to go anywhere on you. Okay, now, taking it all fits down. Once you get it all compact, it fits into this nice little carry bag, which we would compare to the size of like a pup tent. So it has a nice little shoulder strap as well to take it on the go. Now what you do, unzip both sides. Underneath the feet are red tabs that you want to undo. Undo the poles. So it's kind of like a tent. So, it, so it's going to take a little bit longer than your actual player to set up and take down. But once you get the hang of it and you do it a few times, you're, it's going to get faster and faster. take out the mattress. You can either take out the mattress before you take out the poles or after. Either way, it's not going to matter. And you're going to just have to figure out what's the best way for you to fold it up. Like I said, it's going to take a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be no problem. the way I do it. I kind of just roll it up like I would a tent. And the feet are what's going to cause you the most problems to get it back into the bag. But with a little extra work you can do it. And then you got to take all the air out of the mattress as well. The more air you get out of the mattress, the easier it's going to go into the bag. Then, this is the Slim Shady that you can pack up with it too if you bought that separately. And then I like to put the traveler, to try to fit the traveler into the bed first before 
I add the mattress. Again, you're going to figure out how to do it the best for you. There you go. Like I said, it's about the size of a pup tent. Very, very easy, very lightweight, and very easy to travel with. Now, a nice comparison that I wanted to show you is that this is the travel, and this is your standard player. So you're going to see quite the size difference. So this is going to be much easier to travel with. Plus, this is going to fit easily in the overhead bins of your airline, of the airplane. It also, we can fit it into a large suitcase. It's pretty much that compact, that, so we don't have to take this separately. And this is heavy. This is 22 pounds compared to five and a half. So this is definitely a better option for traveling. Now setting up the travel, not too hard to do. Now it's gonna take a little patience and a little practice. Like as you do it, you're gonna get better and better. Um, so it's again, not as easy or quick as a player, but still for the size and the weight, it's totally worth it to take that extra little time to get it set up. pockets at the top. They're going to build the frame pretty much of the top of the traveler. Just slide it through. You're going to blow up the mattress. Taste. I count it. It takes approximately six to seven deep breaths to blow it up. It's very, very easy to blow up. What I found too is if you blow it up part way and then you put it in the bottom, it actually makes it easier because you can bend it. There's a side pocket under here that you're going to slide in your mattress. And then you can finish blowing it up. very easy to do. We only have one complaint. Now, the mattress, it's easy to blow up. It gives your child a firm but comfortable um, place to lay. Plus, it's insulated. It's even alpine tested, which is kind of fun. Now, our only problem is that since it slides in this pocket, there's no way to use a crib sheet or, you know, kind of those player sheets with it. So what Phil and Ted, they want you to actually have your baby lay directly on the nylon. Now, I know many parents complain that they want to use a sheet. But with a small baby, blankets or any other thing is going to be a, su a suffocation hazard. So you're going to need to place your baby right on the nylon, which our babies had no problem. Now if you have an older toddler that can handle a blanket, you can put a blanket down and then have your baby lay on that. But there is no way to secure a crib sheet on this. Now, finishing setting it up, you zip these two pockets that cover the top bars. One over there, one on this side. Then the one last thing you need to do is underneath each feet is your red tab that you're going to need to secure. That makes it even more stable. It, it kind of tightens everything up. Tighten that one. Now you're going to want to zip those zippers, those top zippers, before you do these feet pieces because it makes it really hard to do that if it's zipped. And you are pretty much ready to go. If your parent's always on the go and you like to travel, this is a great option to bring your baby's bed with you. You can take it to grandma's, you can take it to friend's house, you can take it, you know, overseas if you need to because it's so easy to travel with. Like I said, it even goes in your suitcase. So this is a great option for all those traveling parents out there. And this is the review of the Phil and Ted's Traveler by Holly Schultz of BabyGizmo.com. Check out all my latest news and reviews on my new blog, ratedbymom.com.